Guys, huge news. Instagram just announced that you can directly monetize your followers from IGTV. About freaking time. Honestly, we all knew this was coming. Instagram has been pushing IGTV pretty heavily since they first rolled it out in June 2018. And with this new feature, it's a brilliant move that's going to help a ton of creators monetize their followers directly on Instagram because before this, the only way that influencers could really make money on Instagram was by getting sponsorship deals from brands outside of the Instagram ecosystem. There was no way to really directly monetize your content or followers in the same way that YouTube allows it in the rev sharing system, but now there is. All right, so what exactly does this mean? Damn, I'm honestly pretty pumped about this if you can't tell. Their whole press release made a huge splash about how this is huge news and you know what? It is big news. So let's get right into it. So starting next week, they're going to start allowing advertisers to run 50 second ads on IGTV. As a creator, you would earn 55% of ad revenue from it. So why 55%? Seems like an arbitrary number. It's like they all sat around at a table and asked their executives to throw out random percentages that sound nice. 30%, 27%, 66%, 55%. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go with that. No, but in all seriousness, it's kind of the industry standard because YouTube pays 55% of ad revenue. So Instagram is basically copying that same model and implementing what works for YouTube since YouTube rolled out their partnership program in 2017. So why are these doing this now? Well, it makes a lot of sense if you think about it, considering usage on IGTV and live streaming, not only on Instagram, but across the board, has gone up 70% since the pandemic. They're recognizing that there's more attention than ever on Facebook owned platforms. So not only do they want to play a bigger role in this, but obviously they want to cash in on it too. That's it. Cool. What's more, IGTV hasn't really done as well in the past, so it's a strategic decision to incentivize influencers to create more long-form videos, which really puts them in direct competition with YouTube. In case you didn't know, IGTV also has its own standalone app just for streaming long-form videos. But strategic or not, this is obviously something that benefits everybody users who create their own content, businesses advertising on the platform, and of course, Instagram itself because they're getting their share of the revenue. Oh my God, they're ravenous. Watch out for your arm and they'll eat it. Everyone wins. So IGTV ads are going to be rolled out throughout the year and you'll see them when you click to watch IGTV videos. They're starting with the US, UK, Germany, and a few other countries and then slowly dripping it out to the rest of the world. Again, they're gonna be 15 seconds long and they say they're testing the ability to skip ads. So at some point in the next year, you can skip those ads. With this, of course, there are going to be some rules and regulations as to what you can and cannot monetize. One of those is that your video cannot contain cursing or profanity. The reason is that advertisers don't want to be misrepresented when their ads are shown in front of your videos. So to keep things simple, Instagram has decided that if there's cursing in your video, you can't monetize, period. Some other things that aren't allowed are image slideshows. So if you're using some photos that you turned into a slideshow video, that's not allowed. A video that's just images with moving text, you can read through their policies here. I put the link in the description box below. In their press release, they also announced that they're rolling out something called badges for IG Live, which is basically a way for people to support creators while standing out in the comments. Basically, you can buy one of three different badges during a live video from 99 cents for one heart, $2 for two hearts, to $5 for three hearts. And once you buy a badge, it appears next to your name and helps your comments stand out. So it's like a mini shout out to show your support to your favorite influencers and all that money goes directly to the creator. But mind you, this is nothing new because Twitch and YouTube already have these features on their live video platforms. Now, what do I think about badges? Honestly, I think it's a nice to have and a nice gesture on Instagram's part because for a while, a lot of people were asking influencers and small businesses how they can make 
donations and show their support by using Venmo or PayPal or other payment methods. So this is kind of Instagram's solution to that by offering a sort of digital tip jar. I think this is something that will really benefit the macro influencers with millions of followers, but on a smaller scale, you're really not going to make bank from a few dollars here and there. And if you want to apply for early access as they roll out this feature, you can visit this link. They're rolling this out to a smaller group of creators first and then expanding it to a bigger audience. So with that said, how do you feel about Instagram IGTV ads? badges and all these new features that they're rolling out to support creators. I mean, I for one am totally here for it. I would be excited to see them partner with creators to produce content specifically for IGTV, similar to how Netflix and YouTube have done. That would be really interesting to see if they would want to compete with streaming companies like that on that level. So let me know in the comments, are you excited about these features? And as always, if you like this video or you learned something from it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as I do try to upload new videos every week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.